guys, it's me, Koi Kitten. Welcome back. And if you're new here, hello. Please subscribe. Today we're going to be filming content that's a little bit different from what I normally post. We're going to be talking ASMR setup, what equipment I use, and what really goes on behind the scenes to create your favorite ASMR videos you love. I wanted to teach you some tips and tricks and go into my best practices show you how I set it up and how to record everything. If I don't answer a question and you want to find out more, leave me a comment. I'd be happy to help you on later. When I started my ASMR journey about two years ago, I found it really difficult to find tutorials and information on specific things like this for ASMR. And please keep in mind, these are my best practices and tips and tricks. So might not suit your budget or suit your means and needs, but I'm just here to help you out, really. But without further ado, let's hop right into the video. So, since ASMR is all about sound, let's talk microphones to start. I'm currently using the Blue Yeti microphone for this video. I have a variety of microphones. I have this Blue Yeti, the 3DO, and my Rode mic. Each serves different purposes and has pros and cons. Let's jump into each microphone and I'll show you how to set it all up and how to use them. First, we have the Blue Yeti microphone. This is an omnidirectional USB microphone. There are four different audio pattern modes you can choose from, but for ASMR, I recommend the stereo mode. This uses both left and right channels to capture a wide realistic CS sound image for immersive experiences like ASMR. To use this microphone, you plug your headphones into the 3.5mm headphone jack to listen to yourself while you're recording. Then you'll want to connect your USB cable to the other slot inside the microphone to record. I record my audio straight from the microphone to my MacBook into my editing program. I connect this USB cord to my USB-C adapter connected to my MacBook. However, if you have a regular PC or computer, you will not need this adapter and you can connect the USB cord directly into your computer. I edit my videos using the program Final Cut Pro. So, while I'm recording, I have Final Cut Pro open. Then I click Window and then Record VoiceOver. Click the red button and it will prompt a countdown and then the audio automatically saves to your editing timeline. Another tip is you want to speak into the microphone on the same side as the blue logo to capture pro sound. Next, we have the 3DO microphone. The 3DO is a free space, bineural microphone. This means if you're wearing headphones, you can hear specific sounds travel from your right ear to your left ear. This microphone is especially popular for ASMR videos. 3DO microphones mimic human hearing and make you feel as if you were in the recording space. To use this microphone, I plug in a stereo 3.5mm output jack. I plug it into my stereo audio recorder to record my binaural audio. Last, we have the Rode Video Microphone. It's lightweight and super effective for isolation from bumps and vibration, making it great for ASMR in particular. It's a directional shotgun mic, and it's used to capture direct audio. It connects to my audio recorder to record the audio. Let's talk about the recorder next. I use a Zoom H4n Pro Handy Recorder, which is a four-channel recorder. It has built-in stereo microphones, and it is battery-powered, and the audio recordings save directly onto a memory card. It's very versatile to use with many different types of microphones. The camera I use is called an A7S III. It's a Sony. It's a mirrorless digital camera and it has great 4K resolution with dynamic range and it is full frame. I use a monitor to attach to it so I can easily see what I look like while recording. It displays picture in high 4K quality resolution. It's bright, lightweight, and features a sharp display. Next, let's talk about lights can really add a lot to your production value and give off different feelings or moods depending on what types of lights you use. My favorite light I usually use is the Viltrox L11GT soft bi-color LED light. I also bought this Aperture MC pocket camera light. 
It's used for accent and detail work. It has a display screen so you can adjust the settings like saturation, brightness, and hue. Another feature I really like about this little portable light is there are special effects you can use for shoots depending on what type of video you're filming, such as the party mode or the fire mode. These are my two go-to favorites and I use them a lot. There's also a magnet on the back of it so you can attach it to anything metal. Thank you guys so much for watching this ASMR setup equipment and tips and tricks video. Really, really hope it helped you guys out a lot. If you did enjoy it, please hit that subscribe button, give me a big thumbs up, and leave me a comment below. You'll also want to hit that bell so you get notifications every time I post new content. And if you want to see more videos like this, please let me know. You can follow me on my social media platforms like Instagram and Twitch. All the links can be found down below in the description box. Anyways, once again, I hope you guys loved this video. Sweet, sweet dreams, my lovelies. Bye!